Hey guys, HG Starcraft here. This is going to be game six as popularly requested in replay functionality yet again. Um, and it's going to be against a. Oh, right here. Uh, I have to explain this real quick, otherwise, I'd sound like a noob. But uh, basically, I hit this button down here at the bottom because I thought it would be the, uh, the rally key. And uh, I was just lazy, I didn't have my hand on the keyboard to hotkey. And so I ended up clicking at it, and it ended up loading all my SCVs into my command center. Surprise, surprise. So uh, next time you guys play Terran, when the StarCraft 2 game actually comes out, or if you guys get a beta key, do not, do not push this key for rally. That's not the rally button. That's the load all five nearby SCVs into your command center. So uh, I'm already starting off at a bit of a deficit. But getting back to the game at hand, once again, this is going to be in replay functionality. Uh, seems to be pretty popular with you guys, because you guys don't get all confused for my jittery motions and everything. And so I think for now I'll go ahead and leave it on most likely resources. I guess that's the most helpful tab. I also had someone request me to move this thing. I'm not sure if I can hide it, the uh, replay bar, but I'll look into it and see if I can use Sony Vegas to, uh, to edit that out. Anyways, um, back at my own base, I'm just going to go with the standard block the choke point with an SCV supply depot. And uh, I think this is going to be a pretty interesting game, guys. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. And I figured you guys wanted to see a little bit more Terran, since uh, it's uh, naturally everybody's closest race. Speaking um, evolutionarily, of course. And oh, yes. The game should be in faster. Thank you very much for people who have reminded me that. I'm not sure why in replay it starts as fast, but uh, from now on, replays will be recorded as faster. So thanks a lot for pointing that out, guys. Here comes my scouting SCV moving into the opponent's base. Uh, as in Brood War, scouting is still important. One of the key factors, really, to winning a game is knowing what your opponent's build is going to be. So yeah, I thought that was pretty funny when I hit the uh, the rally, what I thought was a rally point key, and it ended up becoming uh, a stupid key to bring five SCVs in your command center. I mean, when in the heck are you ever going to want to put your SCVs in your CC? Except, I suppose, when you want to, you know, get to the chopper and run away, and your base is going to die anyways. But uh, I suppose the strategy could be to, uh, and my opponent is getting two gates, I suppose the strategy could be to lift off right in the beginning of the game with all five SCVs and just go float over to like one of these like stacks uh, where the gold minerals are or perhaps even go to where there's uh, like one of these areas where the minerals are blocked off by rocks and then you'd be pretty safe in the beginning. I haven't thought of that. That's something I'll have to try out. And uh, getting a message here from my 2v2's partner. So um, this game, I thought I'd go ahead and go for a double racks um, bionic build. I've realized that versus Protoss, really, what used to be strong was going mech, but now what's strong against Protoss is going uh, bionic. So bionic, of course, meaning uh, infantry units, strangely enough. And what's strong against Zerg now is actually going mech, although mech has always been strong against Zerg if you're a Terran player. And so I'm getting two tech labs here. I want to quick. What I wanted to do this game was produce a mix of Marauders and Reapers, and I wanted to show you guys uh, Reaper harass. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at Reapers. Uh, their stats right here. They start off with relatively low HP, and actually my opponent here is moving in with a small party of Zelots, but um, with some micro here. The Marauder, keep in mind, slows enemy units down when they attack. See how that Zelot is moving slower. And so that was able to uh, basically ward off that initial attack. But anyways, let's take a look at the Reaper. Um, yeah, that's pretty complicated. But uh, basically, he does pretty good damage against light armored units and against buildings. 
Now, before they used to be able to throw DA charges, now they just attack with DA charges. They do 40 damage to buildings each, which is insane, and I think is quite a bit overpowered. So this game is going to showcase the power of Reapers and their ability to harass. Now, looking at the tech lab, I'm actually going to research uh, Nitro Packs, which gives Reapers even more movement speed, so they go insanely fast um, once fully upgraded. Also, actually getting a third barracks here this game, so I wanted to get a lot of raxes up. I wanted to produce tons of uh, Marauders and Reapers. Reapers for the initial harass, and then Marauders to move in later on and clean up. And it looks like my enemy is going to try to destroy the rocks. I'm not sure what he was doing there, but he is rushing a quick Stargate. Back in my own base, I have upgraded to Orbital Command. I found the most effective build is to actually upgrade Orbital Command at 17 supply. Once you have Orbital Command, immediately call down a mule. Don't use Comsat, but start calling down mules. For 50 uh, energy of the command center, a mule gives about 290 minerals in, in return. And so that's a very good exchange. It boosts your economy greatly. And uh, one strategy I've used to create effect is to actually build a second command center inside your base and start using that command center, upgrade it to a, uh, a uh, the orbital command, and then start calling down meals on your mineral lines here. So you got two command centers constantly calling down meals. Eventually you can use this CC, float it out, and take your natural. So I found that to be greatly effective. You have lots of minerals in the bank, and actually you usually get a shortage of gas. And actually, <laughs> I missed my initial Reaper harass here, but I am going to start using Reapers. And you guys take a look at the Nexus, already losing a ton of its shields. So Reapers are extremely effective against buildings. And it looks like I'm going to come back around for another pass while his units are up here on the high ground. He's trying to capture his natural up there. My enemy is going to run his probes away and look how much damage these Reapers do. It's so insane. I've only got six here. And the Nexus is already almost lost over half of its health. So oh, these Reapers are so powerful. The speed upgrade for them is complete already. And uh, I know my opponent's got to be worried right now. These Reapers are deadly, 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 and I expect them to be nerfed in the next upcoming build. They're just so strong against buildings. But uh, at the same time, a good counter to them is just getting a, a Photon Cannon or two, because these Reapers are very fragile. They only have 50 health, so they go down relatively easy. My opponent here sees me going in with the Reapers again. Another Reaper coming in to reinforce my squad, so he's going to ward this away. Looking back at the base here, I've got Marauders producing, macroing at the same time I'm macroing. So back at my enemy base, moving in with Reapers again, getting a couple pot shots on this gateway, but deciding instead that Nexus is the most important target. And so uh, my opponent here definitely doesn't want to lose this Nexus. That Nexus is only a few more shots from going down. And these Reapers are just so agile, so fast at dodging enemy units. And now my opponent is in trouble because its Nexus has gone down to only six Reapers. And that is just incredible. I really have no words to say how powerful this new unit is. I mean, that is just insane. My opponent, they're using the uh, Guardian Shield around his units, but not to great effect. My Reapers are all but gone. But now I'm going to start moving out with my Marauder Reaper Force here. And I uh, haven't researched Stimpaks yet, but I'm sure that'll be coming soon. Of course, my opponent being revealed here, because all of his Nexuses had gone down, but he's constructed since then a new Nexus at this uh, upper expansion. But he's in huge trouble now. He's not getting any income at all. And uh, he's hugely, greatly set back. And now I'm going to move in with Reapers yet again to harass his Nexus. And uh, this has just got to suck for any player to fight against Reapers. I think these are my new favorite units. Poor Terran. I mean, this is just so good. 40 damage to a building per a shot is more than a battle cruiser from uh, Brood War. It's more than an Archon from Brood War. Forget the battle cruiser. It's more than an Archon's attack. That is just ridiculous. And here I am moving in with my Marauders. My opponent calls a quick GG. So um, this was a quick game just to showcase the power of the new Terran Harass unit, the Reaper. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. And uh, stay tuned for more games, guys. And if you guys like what you see, make sure to subscribe. Check out all my videos. 
Um, and I also have to thank all the people who donated recently. You guys have no idea how helpful you've been, but you have been extremely helpful uh, considering it's my last quarter here at college, so I've been stressing for every penny I can get. So if you guys like what you see, feel free to donate. Uh, my donation link's on my YouTube page, and feel free to subscribe and check out more videos. Thanks a lot for uh, checking this out. Issue Starcraft, signing out.